Alrighty, got a spicy one for today. Um, so, if everyone's familiar with uh, Alurin, Alurin is a four minute enchantment, and I don't think I've actually played it on stream. Um, you can ca Any player can cast creatures three or less for free. So you play Aserac, and you just go through some dungeons and win the game. Or you can go Cavern Harpy and Cauldron Familiar, uh, because this just drains each time. So you pay one life, uh, bounce this, play Flash this in for free, drain, replay Harpy, bounce it, and just go infinite. Um, and then you have the Entomb Animate Dead World Gorger which gives you infinite ETBs, which is an automatic win with Cauldron Familiar, or infinite draws with uh, Ice Fang Coatl, uh, and then you can just like target something, then you draw like an Entomb to target, uh, you know, something else. Um, and then you can go off like once you draw all the mana and a learn uh, in hand or something. So, sideboard's normal sideboard stuff. Um, deck looked pretty wild. So I'm very excited to give it a shot and see if uh, either or both of parts of the combo are relevant. Wow. That's probably the quickest I've ever been paired in Legacy. <laughs> Alessio C. We did win the die roll like a good magic player. I'm very excited about that. Um, yes. Mm. Interesting. They play Storm, huh? This is a really, really slow hand. We have some interaction. I don't want to play a duel if they're not on Storm. If we draw in Tomb, we have the combo. I guess with an Endurance and one of the combo pieces, we'll give it a shot. So we just pass here. Tiger, you say? Oh, it was it Epic Storm? Oh, it's Madness? Yeah, it's Madness. Very skill intensive card. They lost an Angie's Ravager. And I lost a Cauldron Familiar, which is kind of annoying. I mean, we can Endurance, like, later draw an Endurance and uh, put it into play, but still a little annoying. Let's see if they sacked into the old LED. Looks like they did. I'm going to fetch here to Thin, because we really need to draw relevant spells. All right, Ice Fang is nice. Because I should have played this, I knew I wanted to get a basic. Yeah, because I wanted to get a basic and I might need a black duel. Okay. Oh, they have a Hogak? Alright, well, luckily we do have Death Touch. Okay. With uh, the Baleful Strix. So, I guess we'll just get a, get a duel here. Alright, we have a Cavern Harpy. Alright, so we're like one off of drawing a lot of our deck. Uh... I probably want to get a. Hmm. Let's brainstorm and see what we hit. Put back World Gorger Dragon. And imagine if they like Burning Inquiry us into uh, World Gorger Dragon. That'd be pretty funny. Um, 
So we'll get rid of... I want to say Animate Dead. But with Animate Dead in hand, we're one off of, like, comboing. A Bruplicated might be needed to keep us alive, but we do have this. Alright, I'm going to take a shot in the dark here. Let's get a Snow Covered Island. Play with Daffle Strix. Charless Agent, okay. It's a reasonable one if we draw a learn. I'd love to draw an learn here. Or an Entomb. So I guess both parts of the combo are alive, right? So we have three Alurans and three Entombs. So there's six reasonable cards we could hit here. Mm. So... 100% blocking here. And the most I'll take is 11. Yeah, they're going to pump one of these. Okay. All right, so we take 11 and go to 6. All right, what's going on, Boxy? Hope you're doing well. A lot of live ones. A lot of live ones. Uh, I don't care about that. I don't think. Okay. Oh, there you go. Um, I guess we'll go World Gorger here. Let's put this into play. And play a cavern harpy. Ponder. Uh, yeah, I think we'll take a cavern harpy because then this will get rid of the, the the two lands on top and cascade into something better, which is an ice fang quaddle. Okay, ice fang quaddle again. All right. Um, I think we just pass. We should be okay, I think. What's going on, boat? Hope you're doing well. You haven't seen Cascade Reanimate Alluring? Wow, this is a, this is a pretty standard deck. It's pretty basic. <laughs> Casting in anger. Okay. So now I animate dead my cauldron familiar and we win. Right. That's all we do. Literally just animate dead. <laughs> animate dead cauldron familiar for lethal. It's pretty great. It's pretty great. The first time I've animated dead a cauldron familiar for lethal. Alright. What's up, Beta Counter Spill? Hope you're doing well. We got a spicy one today. Probably want some surgicals. We can be the deafening silence, which they bring in, which is nice. Mind Breach Trap is actually reasonable. <laughs> There's like the Burning Inquiry deck. It looks like they're playing, um, who's that, Jace? The person I faced a bunch in high level events uh, has been crushing with this deck. Um, madness. What's in it? You mean Mr. Mr. 2 Jace? They've been uh, they've been crushing with it, and they're they're on four Leyland of the Void, three Deafening Silence, really just those two cards. I guess Firestorm might be a little annoying, but uh, I don't think so. 
We actually don't have removal for Leyland of the Void, huh? I just look at that. The deck literally can't beat a Leyland of the Void. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, so maybe we want to... <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right. Uh, good thing we have two combos. Um, probably cut Grizzlebrand. They're they're pretty aggressive. I don't think we'll be able to to have this, and especially with Hogak. Uh, it's gonna be a tough one. Um, the question is, do we want more counter magic? Endurances are good. Trimming and Tomb. Trim and Decay. Oh, that's weird. Let's try this. Uh, I'm going to keep it. It's a turn two Baleful Strix. It has a Force and a Mind Break Trap if they do crazy shit, so... They kept seven, it's so unfair. I think you have to force future damp. That just gets silly so quickly. Right. Being able to put out all the those lizards. Yeah. Oh, I'm so glad I did that. Oh my god. So glad. Looks like a great decision. Okay. So they did bring in Firestorm. They got one free. They didn't discard any land, so they probably drew one. It's a little annoying, I guess. Um, not gonna block. But well, bricked on land, this is good for us. I think I'm just gonna shard this here. Surgical extraction on Firestorm. Okay. They did not bring in ley lines. They did not sideboard. Oh, hang on. Is that better? That might have been my son's baby monitor. I just realized I put it right by the mic. Yeah, that, that was my son's baby monitor. Grishel Brander, what's going on? Thanks for the follow. But thanks for letting me know. Appreciate that. Damn, imagine if I surgical putrid Dimp. See if they go putrid Dimp or looting for a land here. Looting, trying to find a land. Hope you're doing well, Grishel Brander. <laughs> yeah, what the hell? At least you fixed it. Got rid of anger. God, anger's so busted. Anger's so good. 
Mountain. Okay, so they have Putridib, Ravager, Unknown. We have a free block here. The easiest blocks of my life. Not close. Block, block. They shouldn't attack with Basking, I don't think. I'll take it. We take those. All right. Let's have to beat what's in their hand. All right. Excellent draws. Um... Definitely a land. Maybe a Brainstorm? Probably Brainstorm. Oh, so they play Metalworker? Oh, you've been watching for a while then. Yeah, cool, cool. Maybe it's just Decay? Because I already... I just have so many blockers. Blue and black seem to be the most taxed. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe I should have kept the K for Putrid Imp. Nah, because if they go land, I got, or Decay for Ravager, rather. Mm hmm. So now they get to go Putrid Imp. And Ravager with haste. That's really annoying. Yeah, thought about it a little late. At least we can trade with Rav we can get rid of Ravager right now. And then we can yeah. So we can get rid of Ravager at least. Get rid of a looting, sure. Staying alive, some uh, some blockers. All right. I think we're just gonna go for a little value action. Just some fair shardless agents. Got an arrow. Do need another green for that. <clears throat> Having icing with death touch in play is a nice feeling. And this is a free block and bounce. Them having looting here is not the like they really don't have anything in hand then because they have future imp to get in play already. Another root wall, sure, sure, sure. Root wall getting plus two plus two is kind of irritating in regards to blocking. And LED, okay. Two LEDs in hand. Do they have an ox? They don't have an ox. So they're gonna flashback looting now. Flashing back looting with like, but this is kinda, kinda cracked. Yeah, it's basically just like a draw two. Like from the graveyard. I want them to discard not a Vengevine, because I think this is their second creature now. Or is that their first? Maybe their first. No, it's their second. Okay. And this gets to come back with haste. Yeah, Anger is doing some work here. I'll say that much. Let's see if they want to crack an LED to do another looting. Love for them to hit two lands. Would love it. All 
All right, they're going all or nothing. Oh, and they hit the ox? Are you fucking serious? <laughs> they hit the best possible card? Come on. Come on. And it gets haste? Damn, this is bad news. This is bad news. Yeah, buddy. You I mean you know it resolves? Oof. Yeah. I know, Mike. This has been a five-minute turn. And they hit a Hogak too. They oxed it. <laughs> they have a one ox and one Hogak. <laughs> they just hit it. Uh, fuck me, I guess. Okay. They had like the one anger, the one ox, and the one hogak. Just annoying. I they probably I think they run two and two two one. Doesn't make it uh doesn't make it hurt less though. Alright, uh Block Block Block. Okay. Alluren. Or brainstorm into Alluren wins. Alright, this has to be the best brainstorm ever. It was not the best brainstorm ever. Sorry, kids. Uh, we dead. We 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 be super dead. Nah, this 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 endurance would have been good like last turn. <laughs> would have uh, I could have at some point like stopped the hogar from being cast. I guess. Block here, decay here, die. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Oh, do I have Plague Engineer for Lizard? Do I want to cut forces? Plague Engineer on Lizard. And they, they didn't bring in... Uh, oh, Leobold's actually pretty good. Right? Like, they're not a can... They, like, they're a cantrip deck, but not, you know... It's probably still good. Yeah, what if I don't like Decay, but I like Plague Engineer instead? What if I like Opposition Age? Or maybe want a couple forces? I'm gonna try something like that. Yeah, Leovold is actually pretty decent now that I think about it. Like, not in the traditional sense, like, oh, it stops your Ponder and Brainstorm, but like, Looting and Burning Inquiry when they're, like, when they're in top deck mode and it's free cards. You know, like, it doesn't matter really too much early when they just get to discard and enable, but it definitely matters later, so I think it's worth it. Don't Burning Inquiry me. This, I can't stand this fucking card. I just can't stand that fucking card. I, it always hits me so unfavorably. <laughs> like, I, I remember I lost with... Uh, a redundant one was nice. I lost to... Uh, to this deck. Because they burning and quartered me on the play turn one. And I just got unlucky. It was a rough way to, rough way to lose a top eight. LED, you say?
Yeah, that was a brutal turn. That really was like it was a five minute turn for them. <laughs> like they just kept hitting. <laughs> oh my god, can I can I fucking me I would love to ice hang into a plague engineer. That would make me so happy. Ice hanging into plague engineer. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. And they have ang they literally have anger, Angie's Ravager, Hollow One, LED on turn two. I just I just have the worst luck. Or my opponents have the best luck. I don't know how you want to call it. Double Ravager and 16 cards with Anger LED. Like, the Burning Inquiry could have just hit, like, the LED in both Angie's Ravagers when they had no mana, but, uh, no bueno. Uh, I have to hit an Endurance here, and I already discarded one, so we're dead. Damn, this is a really, really feel bad loss. Like, like losing to this deck is always so feel bad since like Burning Inquiry just decides it. Uh, let's see. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen damage, huh? What's the best possible draw? The best possible draw. Block here. I think I have to block there. Just like maximize the most damage reduction. If they have any creature, I just die, right? I can animate dead endurance. Animate Dead Endurance, it gets rid of Anger. They I block here, they pump here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's no good. <laughs> it's still too many. I have to shard this into something. To shard, yeah, I have to, I, cause I need to, to handle two things at once. Oh man, okay. technically not dead. If I draw endurance, I'll feel better. Tomb, no, no, it's one turn too late. It's one turn too late. So block, block, one, two, three, four, five damage. Damn, unlucky. And now they can pump this as well. Because block, block, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven damage. They just have to play any creature and I lose. Looks like they have like a Hogak. That, that's gonna, it's literally just enough to win. Are you f no, this actually wasn't enough to win. Because I block here, here. They could only pump one of these. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They hit three hollow ones and 20 cards, huh? God, it feels so bad. It feels so bad losing like this. <laughs> Brutal. Just brutal. Losing to that deck is just the fucking worst. It's like they have anger in the top ten, and and, and they happen to discard it with inquiry, and you you, you just die. And then they discard your endurance, <laughs> like they discard their anger, and then they discard your endurance, so they get haste and they take away your way to stop it. Oh man. Oh well. Yeah, just. Yeah, that was, I mean, that's insane on turn two.
Maybe I'm supposed to have all the caves out. I think I did cut all the caves that last game to bring in two forces. So. Yeah, it just shows Leo, Leobold is too, Leobold's effect is good, but on turn three, it's too slow. You need to have like a Green Sun Zenith for Dryad Arbor or like a Noble Birds of Paradise type start. I think for that matchup for Leobold to have text. All right, let's rock and roll for number two. See if we can do a little better. It's a lot of lands. We have a force and a combo piece. I mean, it's probably not the worst hand we could have. Don't fetch a volcanic. All right. That's equally bad. Maybe worse. Uh, verse combo. We have Veil, Oppo Agent, and two more forces. Nolrod, Leovold, Surgical. We have a lot. We have a lot for combo. Probably going to die, but... Uh, probably going to die, but hey. Wish Claw? No. Force Will. That does make Storm one higher. Unlucky. <laughs> Unlucky. Uh, not the best top decks. They shuffled the ponder. It's giving me this fake sense of hope. I'm going to fetch here. Uh, I don't want to fetch when I play Uro, so I'm going to let him know I have a trop. I don't think it matters that much, but it puts me to 23, which uh, makes Storm a little harder. Okay. So now they need 12 Storm at least. Okay. What the fuck? The fuck is happening right now? <laughs> what what is happening? Oh my god! Is this like I just genuinely don't know what's happening? They have date. Oh, so this is a fair deck? What the fuck deck are we facing that, that's running three Thought Caesar Stifle and Days? What is happening in this place? Animate dead on Acerac or Brainstorm seems sign. So 
So this is a fair deck? And this cat has just been taking him to the fucking town? This cat's done five damage so far. <laughs> I'll probably top deck the animate dead. Probably draw that. Uh, I almost don't want to play a Lurin. Like, what a bizarre game. <laughs> okay. Is this just like sneak cat beatdown? Uh, I was gonna say go. <laughs> what, 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 what just happened? <laughs> there is thoughts to stifle days. So they're a fair deck. Okay, I'm glad I know that now. Because I would have sided way differently. Well, I think I want Leovold, some opposition agents, some carpets and veils. All sound nice. They didn't see the graveyard combo, so I probably want to leave it. I probably want to leave the graveyard combo. Um, endurance, I guess, probably didn't seem super relevant. Decay didn't seem like it had many targets. I guess Terminant Tomb. Yeah, this is weird. I don't know how I'm supposed to sideboard. Like, Opposition Agent seems better than Endurance, I think. I don't know. We're, we'll just try this. It's really weird. But but what deck plays Thoughtseize Stifle of Days? Like, without Shocklands for Death Shadow. Just weird. Maybe I'm not thinking of of a deck that's obvious. Maybe I'm just like that. Just <laughs> off of it. I mean, so far it's functioned fine. The deck's the deck's been like fine. It hasn't been clunky with like wrong half problems really. We did draw the one Grizzle Brand, which is like you know whatever. Which dungeon am I supposed to go in with Aserac? I don't even know. Sure. They run thought seeds. I don't, and I have a land that will, can't get stifled. So I think I'm gonna just keep it. Thought seeds decks always have thought seeds on one. Vile decks always have vile on one. <laughs> like there's decks that always have a card on one.
I mean, they definitely could have figured out we were a learn based on how we played. They took carpet, okay. And they run... F I'm actually just going to fetch a swamp here. Uh, am I guaranteed unwasteable and unstifable black source? Probably. What if it's the mirror with thoughts? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What if they have endurance here? I'm gonna wait a turn. And I can brainstorm and use Entomb to shuffle. That's pretty hot. I don't know what this deck is doing. I'm just lost. They haven't done anything. <laughs> They're gonna like whole breacher this and I'll die and I still won't learn anything. Okay, I guess. Okay, let's get a grizzle brand, huh? Hmm. I just have an endurance, like a nat natty endurance. Or decay would make sense. Okay. All right. Ooh, man, that opposition agent, huh? Maybe that opposition agent can get them. If not, we'll fetch it away. If they fetch these, then we'll get rid of it. A double in the gap for the Mets. Um. Do I want opposition agent? I think so, I guess. I guess I could play an Alurian, but that's playing in the Force End Days. So I'm just going to pass. Like, playing this here just forces them to crack their fetches, at least. So. Sure. Makes like brainstorms worse. No way they're hard casting a force on this. What? I'm gonna drop another in tomb here. Oh, I got the wrong land. I was supposed to get a bayou. Imagine we top like Veil of Summer here. Veil of Summer one time. Snuff out. And now I just lose all my permanence. And now I just lose all my permanence because they run snuff out. Oh my god. I did not play around snuff out. Ah! <laughs> Damn. You got the opponent with whatever the fuck deck you're playing. 
Did he just play like an arrow? What is, what is a Star McCoy? <laughs> what year is this? Oh, all right, you got it. <laughs> That's too funny. All right, the cake can come back in. I'm cutting World Gorger. I'm not getting snuffed out. Yeah, big fucking oof. Oof. Big fucking oof. <laughs> That's a funny way to die. See, I'd, ra I'd much rather die like that than to, like, a burning inquiry. Like, that's a funny death. <laughs> like, I'll... <laughs> We're off World Gorger. I'll just... I'll... They can't snuff this out, so... <laughs> oh, man. That's too funny. Um... Sure. Let's just run it back. Oh, that's a good way to die. That's a good way to die. <laughs> what a funny deck they're on. Quite a funny deck. Sure. Sure thing, buddy. Alright, now we're just going to play like a fair game or a, a learn combo. <laughs> a learn combo can't be broken up by a snuff out, so let's. Well, like. <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, turn one thoughts is because you literally get the file comp if you don't. I told you, <laughs> like, like if you register thoughts these, you guarantee have it. Oh man, those are good cards. Uh, I want to hide shardless and ponder. I think. Yeah. I don't really care if they take an arrow. They're priced in the taking arrow here, which is good. Oh, they took the K. Interesting. All right, I'm going to fetch a green. No, I have a shardless agent on top I want. Let's ponder. Oh, I should have played a green source, I guess. Do I want a Shardless into carpet, though? And I want both carpets. I mean, I want both Shardlesses, for sure. Shardless in the carpet's probably pretty good. So I'm just going to draw a Shardless agent here. And then I'll... A Shardless into carpet. I have another deck that I'm thinking about playing if this doesn't go too long. Where is it? Kitten Control Yorion. Some Hermits and Urzas. Okay, buddy. You got it. We'll see if they uh, drop a daze on the old Carpetto. Am I supposed to play Uro? And if they days doesn't go to one land in play while well, I'm just like developing and having arrow and another shard list. Yeah, like our mana is just insane right now. <laughs> like we'll just play the fair game. Arrow when you have uh carpet is just fucking chef's kiss. You know this eat to decay like it was a two for one.
They did not shuffle. So, so unlucky for me. Come on, play another Goyev. Play another Goyev. Coward. Not night situations. Uh, I think we're past. We don't really want an entomb or a land. Okay. We'll fetch on. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait on the fetch for now. We're going to be attacking with Charles here. Goyf's only hitting for four. Uro gains three. I mean, it's not even, a, it's like not really fair. I'll fetch here. If they want to like fetch Stifle and get a bad brainstorm, then sure. Cool. Um, buy you, I guess. All right. They came my carpet. Oh yeah, another guy. Sure. You got me. Won't be able to compete with this. Uh, I think we're gonna add green. If they left they left in force of negation and dress down left in dress down in the goif deck that's uh those are game actions those are game actions to do sleep found the implication moving in too deep my is got mystical disputed. Four left in that many forces. Okay, you got it. I think we're just gonna we'll just take ten here. It's, they're down the two cards in hand. We have two redraws with both our arrows, so. Uh, we'll say, I guess, green. Uh, I want to get artifact out, shrink that goif. Okay. Nice. And there's three, four goif over there. <laughs> three forces. Oh, man. Did not prepare for triple force as their last <laughs> as their last cards. Okay. Uh, I have to leave both back. I'm just gonna block singly. All right, they have no cards in hand. Thoughtsies, of course, of course they topped at the thoughtsies. So I take Brainstorm, uh, four cards in Graveyard, I block here, five cards in Graveyard. Mm. Was not prepared for the Triple Force, so well, or Triple Force, whatever. Mm. 
Uh, we'll add green. Entomb. We'll entomb something we don't want to draw. What don't we want to draw right now? We can almost cast a Grizzlebrand, so I'm going to leave that. Get rid of a land, probably, like a fetch land. One, two, three, four, five. Get rid of the other Uro. Yeah, it shrinks them to three power. Yeah, let's do that. Biffle Strix is a nice card. So we're going to get in for two here. They are allowed to draw lands. Like, they are allowed. Tell me they drew, like, fucking Murktide or something. Gurmag Angler. Tomb Stalker. What, what's happening? Phyrexian Dreadnought? Oh, it's like a bug Dreadnought deck? Okay. Can I cast this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I actually can just. I'm just gonna cast a Grizzlebrand. All right, so we're just gonna cast Grizzlebrand this game. Double block. Yep. Cool. 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 You got it. Yes. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go. <laughs> Hard cast Gristle Moran for the win. <laughs> oh, man. Weird games, huh? <laughs> Weird games. Our wins were casting Grizzlebrand and attacking with Cauldron Familiar. <laughs> Those, how often do you win by attacking with a like, Cauldron Familiar and Grizzlebrand in the same match? Mm. Bastet's falling apart. It's no good. It's a turn two. Turn two, World Gorger and or Grizzlebrand. So I'll probably keep these. My opponent Mulligan to four breaks my heart. Swamp, dark ritual, that's just true. If the last two cards are like entomb and reanimate, they just need a land. I'd probably take ponder if I was them. Unless they're on exhum, then they may want to take the. Uh, the Entomb. Yep, they took the Entomb, so I think they have an Exhum in hand. So we're going to ponder now for a Force of Will. 
Not a force of will, but... Are these better than random cards? God. Ponder and Baleful Strikes are good. But I think we might, might need to... Oh my god, did I really just fucking shuffle and hit the force? Oh my god, please, please, please go into and reanimate. Damn, and we could animate it for them. Or is this a fair deck? Is it not reanimator? Looking like reanimator. So I just have to play Acerac and like enter a dungeon, I guess. What what do these dungeons do? Oh, that's me scry, right? So I guess it's probably worth it. Alright, which dungeon do we want to... Scry one. Endurance, we're gonna top. <laughs> we're gonna. I forgot I had endurance as outs too. This is a weird hand they kept. I think I'm going to shardless agent here. No, that'd be dumb. I could ask her here. What's the next thing that happens? Create a treasure token. This is weird. We're just playing like a fair Acerac game. This is so weird. Goblin Lair is a 1-1. One, one. Mine Tunnels is a treasure token. Okay. This has been the most fucking bizarre <laughs> game of magic. And if they weren't on a mold of four, we probably would have lost already. Where can I go from here? Each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Okay. Grief. I'm going to animate dead their grief to take their best card. Animate that. You can keep that grizzle brand. Uh, I want to dark pool them. Okay. <clears throat> Can I draw a card next time I play this. This is kind of dumb. It's kind of dumb. Um. Guess I'll do it again, huh?
cry to the bottom. Go. I've cast an Asrak fairly like six fucking times. Watch this be Exhum. This Exhum would be pretty funny. Wow, what a weird game. I have some weird games. <laughs> this is weird fucking games. I probably want my very trap on the draw. Surgicals, Veils, Weevil. Like, all seem pretty good. Um, This plan is seems dicey. Animate Deads actually seem good. So what if we just cut that and leave Animate Deads? As part of the combo, it's cut in tombs and everything, so they can't like thought seize my grizzle brain and reanimate it. Um, abrupt decay is kind of sus. It's just for the animate deads they have. Maybe a basic. Like I'm never searching a basic. Alright. Uh his hand sucks, but it has a force. Like you're not you're never like mulling versus reanimator with a force, I don't think. Ugh. Imagine this is surgical. Right? No one here is mulliganing this, right? I'm not, like, losing my mind. Uh, I'm mulling the six cards to try to find double interaction, which would put you down to two cards. Seems just... Seems kind of rough. Yeah, right? Like... Bad beats. I guess... If they just reanimate grief, we have a shop. But if they have like dark ritual, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, magic's easy. Magic is so fucking easy. <laughs> like, it's just, it's just the easiest fucking game. An exhum here would be annoying. They pitched an exhum, they might have another. Oof. Big oof. Yeah, you know, Thoughtseize bug. 
They have Unmask and Badlands. They brought in Wear Terrors, which don't matter. Sure. Now I get to just attack them with my Cauldron Familiar until they die. Attack them until they die will be my game plan with my cat. Next turn we get the Uro. I'm going to make grief. I guess I don't get to do that. Though them, them spewing a reanimate is good there. Because, like, if they top deck in Tomb, it's, like, one more combo piece they're going to need. They probably take Uro, which is fine with me. Oh, they took Acerac. Wow. Don't want me to scry. They beat him up too badly <laughs> last game. I was just, like, too, too much of a fair win for them to take. What if we cast a Ponder? Ooh, those are good cards. Uh, hide the old... Uh, hide the old Leovold on top. They have Badlands and Unmask here. Let me take that. Faithless looting is shut off. Thought sees draws me a card. I'm mass draws me a card. They have unmask and badlands in hand. If the top decks were like, you know, another entomb exactly, and an animation spell that would suck. They're tanking pretty hard here, which I don't like. Opponent's tanking quite a bit. So yeah, I'm looking at this kitten control to play for the next nine o'clock. They finish on like an if if I'm able to get my last. There's one more game after this. One more. Oh, they can see it. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I got two matches left. Ugh. It's kind of rough. Yeah, that's that's a tough spot for them. Top decking surgical is definitely highly advisable in those situations. In case you you in case you're in the mindset of not top decking surgical, just read you know, look at the situation again.
Mm -hmm. We played all our Urzas too. So we're pretty sweet. Actually, what did I just do? Pair it up. Let's rock and roll. The dinosaur. Uh, yeah. Basic island abrupt decay is always. Mold to five. Opponent's mulliganing has been pretty nice for us. Are you Bosch and Roll? Bloodstained Mire. Do we face like three Bloodstained Mire decks this league? I'm gonna let this, I normally force lootings, but because I have the endurance, I'm gonna let it go. Damn, that, that, uh, <laughs> that World Gorger Dragon snuff out really fucking, really got me. No, nah, there's no way I'm supposed to. F I don't think. Oh my god, imagine they cast Exum and I entomb a Grizzlebrand here. Oh, please cast Exum. Oh my god, please cast Exum. Grief? No. Please, please, please have Exum one time. One time having Zoom. Please. 
Please exhume. Pretty, 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 please. I'm asking nicely. Opponent's giving it a think. They're, oh, they lost connection to the game. Okay, that makes sense. I was like, it's kind of weird for them to to take that long. I've got to get away. This grief looks pretty cool. It's so unfortunate. The thing is, I really don't want to entomb. I really don't want to entomb. I may want to fetch, though. Get that by you. Oof. Threw my back out with that sneeze. It's getting old. I was like, I'm going to make them have it, like, with the two cards they drew. Fetch land? Sure. What's three mana? Like, is passing? Maybe play an opposition agent? I mean, it's fine. Fuck, that's so bad. I want to have World Gorger Dragon to get a shuffle here. Is it grief? Uh, would I let a grief resolve? Probably. Okay. Not getting a grizzle brand though. Damn, we have the win. Ugh. All right, let's just scry one, huh? 
Let's just scry one, try to find a land. Yeah, we're gonna top that mist there. Alright, so we should be able to win. They have two cards. We have forest and a win next turn, so. Oh, it is conceded. Interesting. Alright, versing reanimator back to back times, which has not happened in a while for me. God, I feel like you could just bring so much in versus Reanimator. I feel like you probably, yeah, you probably want to cut that, cut that, cut these, cut these, cut Swamp. What else did I cut? Oh, carpets. I did not bring in carpets. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, there we go. The sideboarding. Sideboard map complete. a mulligan and take the old mulligan here funny oh, that sucks for me thoughts he's bug one time They really thought he was my ice sand quadro. It's wild. Thank you for the phone. DB Cena, what's going on? They just reanimated my ice sand quaddle. <laughs> You're here just in time to see classic reanimate your ice sand quaddle. That's that that's a play that you're allowed to make, damn. I've been thought seized this league. 
about 12 times. <laughs> Like, I've never been more thought seized in a league. Kind of bananas. Uh, I guess I should fetch Bayou here. Just thought seized as shit. Don't have three thoughts, Jesus. This reanimate my shardless. <laughs> okay. This is this is just what the fuck's going on here. I'm definitely gonna take this and attack. I shut off any uh, reanimates. We win in this race. Let's go. They have a six turn clock. We have a four turn clock. Alright, so we we crushing our animator, which is pretty cool. Damn, what an if we four one and our only loss is like burning inquiry <laughs> so frustrating. That's what happened to me in the, the fucking showcase. Like literally beat everything except burning inquiry. <laughs> burning inquiry just fucked me up. Alright, let's, let's try to get the four one. Try to rip the old four one here. Four one ski. A 4 1 with, uh, yeah, with this deck, I think is still Yurion. Uh, I'm gonna keep. Uh, I think I'm still going to Entomb in a turn. Don't have Port exactly in your 80 card deck, please. How do they always have everything? 
Like, how? How do they always have it? And you're, you're a... Oh, uh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. It just misclicked me and got rid of one of my best possible cards. Cool. It's been some interesting... Some interesting games. Some interesting gameplay. Getting, uh... Getting Vile imported in the Urian deck and then misclicking my alarm. It's been really, really good game. God, imagine if this is a card that was relevant. Give me like two live draws that are no longer existent. So verse death and taxes we have yeah and now I, I literally picked a learn of all cards. <laughs> it's so frustrating. The recruiter to get Snowforge Mystic. Oh Sanctum Prelate. Okay. One. Awesome. De oh my god. Imagine if we just put Grizzle Brand. Oh, it's so fucking tilting. It's so tilting. Come on, don't have Stoneforge, please. Oh, man, it's so hard not to get tilted when people have, like, the only card, like... Lion stash, okay. Oh man, it's so frustrating. And the fact that I entombed this fucking alert, so it's like one less out to win. The, like we just win the game, probably. Learn one time. Super lucky. Let's go. Not super lucky. I guess we're just going to Charles here. Yep. Fucking hit the old brainstorm. The only good thing is they have two cards left, but fuck. This game is like, it just took such a bad turn from that one misclick. And then, <laughs> why wouldn't you have a GTA? I mean, GTA doesn't stop the combo. And I'll just block here, but. Yeah. Okay. I'll learn one time. And the last card not to be exactly a plow. That's not the right thing to do. <laughs> that's that's the worst possible thing you could do, thankfully. Okay. Alright, so now I've like, I'm not dead, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, I am exactly dead. Okay, cool. You got me. That's a good play. Yeah, no, exactly dead. Then that makes sense because I paid the one. All right. Uh, opposition agent, plague engineer, Leopold, Null Rod. Cut endurances, 
the forces. Let's run it back. What are the odds they have Vial on turn one? Is it 100%? Is it, is it literally 100%? away no. probably want to leave Charles. next turn I could Baleful Strix Mother Runes don't give two fucks about that card awesome because now we have just have two turns to uh... drill lands there you go easy peasy mm-hmm Yeah, I guess I'll I guess I'll run this out. Stops any ether vials or shenanigans they may have. Probably should attack there. Like I'm never blocking, right? So I should probably just attack. I now need two more lands though, which is frustrating. Uh, it doesn't matter. Of course, literally, I say it doesn't matter, and I top deck the one thing that makes it matter. Oh, man, that's annoying. It's so fucking annoying. I really just wanted to draw land. Ugh. I got to pass. Damn. I only run, like, what, two ponders and then the brainstorms? <laughs> then they top deck Stoneforge. Yep. Literally just need land. Land, land wins. But it's not looking like we're going to get there, folks. We'll finish with the old 3 2. <laughs> Straz with the raid. Were you able to trophy? I saw you were 4-0. I was like peeking over, so I hope uh, hope you're able to get there. Oh, there we go. Got the 5-0. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. That's that's the good shit. Were you running main deckers, or was that, uh, that was main deck? What the fuck's happening? Moto literally, a number got typed in, and Moto doesn't know what to do. Moto's just, Moto's just fucking lost. Moto's lost. <laughs> like, accidentally typed a number, Moto just doesn't even understand. Two main deck hearses, sick. Absolutely sick. Grats, dude. You're on the Maverick grind. No one deserves a trophy more than you. Alright, we're going to try to name Human one more time and let's see if Moto crashes.
Oh yeah, that's me and my wife. Obviously, I think it's probably assumed it's my wife, but yes. Married for, I guess, three and a half years now, so. All right, so they have three cards in hand, and one of them is a Coldra Complete. Right? Oh, it, my, my revealed thing got cleared when, when Moto restarted. Skyclave, okay, don't care. And Oh, they got Lion Sash probably. All right. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> It's just, it's just the worst possible thing. At least I can hit a Decay now. Oh, there we go. Hitting Spirit of Labyrinth. Nothing like drawing three Alerns, huh? Oh, they, they got a GTA. I wasn't even sure what they... Like, if I had seen that, maybe I got rid of this. Probably not, though. Like, because this gets the block once, and, like, GTA counter doesn't do anything versus the combo, so... But anyway, anyone here is from Straz's stream. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new, definitely drop a follow. It's free. See when I go live. And uh, you'll see a bunch of, of legacy piles, which is what I specialize in. All right. Easiest block of my life here. Yeah, it, does, it works out to be the same, right? Mm hmm It just forces them to use one right now. Probably use the other one, sure. Let's see if they equip here. Last card. Holy shit. We we just, we really can't draw anything. Alright, alright, we have a shot, thank god. Alright, let's get two alerts. Play a fetch land and say go. Alright. God brainstorm is a hell of a drug, you know that? Brainstorm is a hell of a drug. Oops. Oh, shit. I do have to fetch a duel here, which is not what I wanted to do, but... Let's see if they have a plow for this. Mm-hmm. I can entomb end of turn. I'll get rid of a card I don't want to draw. Let's play World Road to Dragon in there. Oof. No way I'm not playing a Laren, right? <clears throat> and we'll just go for the win on upkeep, and if they have interaction... So they target with solitude, it doesn't matter. They, they can't they can't beat Cavern Harpy. They target, I return, they target, I return, and the game's over, so. Brainstorm? I, I, yeah, I've heard, I've heard, you know, mixed things. They literally cannot win. 
I mean, if they have Mind Break Trap, I guess they can win. Mind Break Trap beats me here. I don't know what card aside from Mind Break Trap wins, though. No one runs Mind Break Trap? Death in Taxes runs Mind Break Trap. <laughs> Oh, just subscribe to my YouTube. Thanks for checking that out. Uh, oh, yeah, no, yeah that, that kills that. And then, so we say okay there, I guess. Yeah, I needed one more. Oops. I, was, I don't know what I was, I was thinking about a different sequence, but uh, so let's just play Opposition Agent here so I can bounce this. I'm going to play Opposition Agent again. Uh, Solitude exiles nothing. This drains for one. Uh, this says return something. I return opposition agent. I replay opposition agent. And then I'll. Uh, uh, yeah, we just pass now. Uh huh. So we block with cavern, harpy, and bounce. So I gotta work a little harder. I got a. Uh, Cauldron's in the graveyard. I just have to find endurance. And like, uh, or do anime dead, anime dead wins also. They do get to play things for free, which is pretty scary with, uh, with a learn. All right. They use the plus two plus two for some reason. Okay. Play us in a turn. Human. Okay. Alright, we got a couple looks. Maybe I should name Spirit. It doesn't matter. I can, uh. Wow. Okay, no. And then we just play value and win. Okay. Uh, I'm not changing anything. Good game. Oh, I cut endurances. So I couldn't shuffle it back in though. I didn't have to find an animate then. We're about to get a 4-1 with World Gorger Alert, which would be pretty fucking bananas. World Gorger Alert. With our only loss being fucking Burning Inquiry, which just fucking gets me every time. I know this is a meme. Another meme is learn a six decks and a trench coat, but this is getting out of hand. <laughs> I know, right? We're just like keep adding more combos to a learn. <laughs> just keep adding shit. <laughs> Soon a learn will splash for Merktide and Delver in iteration. <laughs> Alright. No vile. I, I want to get wastelanded here, so I'm going to play the duel. Uh, I want Cavern Harpy. It's part of the combo. Hopefully they wasteland. You're going to learn exists. Actually, Bosch and Roll just did a video on it. Check check them out. I'm sure you all are sub to him already. CLA. Waste me. Waste me. Come on. I don't have any lands. I have no lands. Damn it. Damn it. This is bullshit. 
absolute horseshit. Half for two play ether valve. Ether valve. Fuck this card, man. This card is such bullshit. We're getting Stoneforge here, Skyclave. I'm so far off of a learn, I'd probably get Stoneforge if I was them. Cathar Commando. Interesting. Fuck me, huh? So I guess I decay. Because Caracas isn't up and it does slow the clock down considerably. Mm, okay. Damn. God. They were tapped out. If I had to learn, I would be able to do something with my mana, right? <laughs> Which I can't do for shit now. Looking for my arrows. Oh, your end's fucking terrible. Your end's such a like like I I would I would be fine with this being banned. I I'm fine with just banning companions. You know what I mean? Like they fucked up. Call it a day. Let's see how that one play. Grizzlebrand is a draw seven here. Is that worth it? Probably. It's probably better than World Gorger. I like to see LA. So if I play a Lurin, they play this, pop it. Yeah, I think I have to. I hope they fuck up. God, if these weren't lands, if these were just, like, can-tripping fucking stupid snakes. I mean, they, they're, there's no reason to do that ever. Like, you could have just cast it for free. Like, I get priority. I'm going to be able to do something no matter what. Oh, animate that on Grizzlebrand. Now they have to pick if they're going <laughs> to blow up a... If they didn't use this two mana, they actually have to choose now. They have to choose <laughs> whether they let me draw draw seven. That's kind of funny. No, wait, hold on. They should pop this. Because I can't even draw seven, right? I just die. Yeah, they should just pop this right now. And I die. But it's kind of funny. It's kind of funny that they have to think about it. Yeah, that's that. That's one hundred percent the correct move. Cause I'm just dead on board. Cause, <laughs> cause, cause I'm just, I'm just, I'm no, no, technically not. Oh yeah, because they, they give, they, they bounce and give pro. And I have no zero drops to hit. Uh, yeah, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, and no, I agree, hundred percent. Uh, they, they, it's just, it's just it's dumb. It's dumb. They try to fix it, just call it a day and get rid of them all. Yeah, no, I, I had to, I had to have them mess up there and like hit this, cause I can, I can draw. I, I can draw seven, but it simply doesn't matter. And they, and they get to play a spear. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, we got a 3 2. Got the old uh, 3 2. Let's crack a chest, see how we did. I just love how your index draw like the best cards. Something about it just makes me so happy inside. Ooh, profane command. Damn, that took over two hours. Yeah, take care, Mike. Have a good weekend. Uh, I think I'm going to call it 2. It's already 10 o'clock. I'm going to start another league. Uh, everyone take care. Thanks, Raz, for the raid. Awesome, awesome stuff. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the deck. Check out my YouTube if you want to see anything you missed. Um, and then just have a great weekend. Hmm. Uh, done with this. 